So what I'm going to show you how to do here is how to figure out whether angles are consecutive or not in a parallelogram. All right. Parallelogram, like you know, should be a, any four-sided figure where you've got two sets of sides that are parallel. For instance, I've got the top, BC, parallel to the bottom, AD. I've also got the side, CD, parallel to this side, BA. Okay? In this particular parallelogram, we've got angle A and angle B. Angle A is 24x minus 4. Angle B is 6x plus 4. Okay? What we know about consecutive angles is that they're supplementary. That's what I say right here. Consecutive angles are supplementary. What consecutive angles are, are there any two angles in a parallelogram that are next to each other, that are connected by one side? So, for instance, A and D, they're consecutive because they're next to each other. They're connected by this side here. Okay? C and D are consecutive. They're connected by this side here. B and C are consecutive. They're connected by this side here. And lastly, A and B are consecutive. They're connected by this side here. And these are the ones that I'm worried about right now. Okay, I know angle A and I know angle B. I've got an expression for them. So let's figure out how we can do this. Since I said that consecutive angles are supplementary, and I know that A and B are consecutive, I can say that these add up to 180, because that's what supplementary means. It means that their sum is 180. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to add it to this and say it equals 180. I'm going to say 6x plus 4, this angle, plus this angle, 24x minus 4, equals 180 degrees. After I do that, I'm going to solve for x by combining like terms. I'm going to plug it back into the uh, problem. Let's do that. 6x and 24x, since they're on the same side of the equal sign, I can combine them. And I'm going to get 30x. Well, positive 4 and negative 4, well, they're opposites. Since on the same side of the equal sign, I combine them. Positive 4 minus 4 is 0. So if there's nothing there, bring down my equals, bring down my 180. Now I've got 30 times x equals 180. To solve this, all you have to do is divide. Divide by 30 here. Divide by 30 here. So we're going to get x is 6. 180 divided by 30 is 6. So since x is 6, now we know that x is 6, we're going to plug it back into this equation. Angle B was 6 times x plus 4. Well, if x is 6, this is really 6 times 6 plus 4. 6 times 6 is 36. 36 plus 4, that means this angle B is 40 degrees. This one down here, 24 times 6. Well, 24 times 6, that is 144, and 144 minus 4 is 140. So we know that angle A is 144. Lastly but not least, we learned about opposite angles in a parallelogram. The opposite angles, A and C, the ones that are not consecutive, because remember A is consecutive with D, A is consecutive with B. They share sides. But A and C do not share a side. To get from A to C, I have to go one side, and then a second side. They're diagonally across from each other. So that we know that these are congruent. These are equal. So if this is 144 degrees, so is this. And vice versa. If B is 40 degrees, so is its angle that's opposite, it's diagonally across. So, so D is also 40 degrees. Okay? That's how every problem with consecutive angles will work. It doesn't matter if they're here on the left side, if they're together on the bottom, they're here on the right side or here on the top. As long as they're consecutive, they add up to 180. All right? That's how you work with consecutive angles.